All right, I'm Nick. Today's video is about the Yozuri 3DS Minnow. This is the size 70 SP, which stands for suspending. We just did an initial video about this, uh, I believe it was two days ago. I'll put a link up here so you guys can click on that and go watch that if you have not seen it yet. It's gonna give you my initial thoughts. Now I have fished this lure before, so I didn't need to spend too much time to do a final review. In the video, we will talk about the stock hooks, what we switched them to. I'll show you some video of us catching some fish. Jamie caught a gorgeous 50 spot redfish on the all white version. We did have a rough start to the fishing trip on day two, but I'll go into more details about that in a minute. Before that, we had a giveaway for people who commented on our last video or two videos ago about how to fish a soft plastic. Xavier Simmons, you are the winner of the soft plastics. I commented on your comment and told you to send an email to nick at navarkitefishing.com. Send me your address, I will get those shipped out to you. I appreciate all of you guys watching. I enjoy seeing your comments in the comments section and that is how we will continue to do giveaways in the future. We are also gonna give away all of these Yozuris on the table. There are six of them, right? There are two of each color, three different colors. We're gonna give away two prize packages, right? So one person gets three colors, another person gets three colors, and I will ship them to you for free, obviously. So lots of stuff to cover in this video. Gonna ramble a bit more than likely. Gonna do my best to stay on topic, but there's a lot to cover, okay? I wanna give you guys some information. I'm gonna get sidetracked, just how it goes. Now, in the initial video, we talked about day one. Day one, quick recap, we went out, we did some trout fishing. Remember, kept the lures completely stocked for this. We wanted to see how those stock hooks did. They performed pretty well. Jamie caught three keeper fish, 17 inches or so in that area without any issues, and I caught a bunch of small fish. I just couldn't catch anything over 14 and a half inches, but hey, it happens. Jamie came out the victor that day. Day two. Day two, we got out to a bit of a bumpy start. Now on day one, we threw the uh, black back gold color. You guys already saw that in the initial video. Uh, we both threw it, right? So the goal was for us both to throw the same color every day. Day two, well, day two, bumpy start, right? Um, whatever, we got a late start. It happens, okay, no one's fault. Jamie was taking care of a flat tire for someone. We got a late start hit the water with the gold and do a little sheep's head fishing and then follow it up with some fishing for redfish. We wanted the sun to come out and warm up the flat so we could catch some fish in the sound. It worked out well. First thing, we're pedaling out there. Boom, there's fish right in front of us. We were using the white and red head version, okay? This guy right here, and if you look close, that hook is bent just a little bit, right? Not a whole lot, but I guess a few of them are bent. The thing about stock hooks and them being that tiny is when you set the hook, they actually bend. If you've ever like messed with them, they flex quite a bit, okay? Don't hook yourself while doing that. But they do a bunch of flexing because they're such light wire. So when you set the hook, sometimes they'll just flex and you won't be able to drive that barb into the fish's mouth. Redfish have pretty hard mouths, right? The next thing that happens is as the fish is swimming off, they just pull the hooks. And that's what happened with the first fish, right? Uh, 33, 35 inches, somewhere in that range. Pitch it out in front of them, twitch, whack, fish on. Here's an example of how they feed and how they hit it. This is a 24 inch fish right here and it absolutely slams the white version. But toss it out in front of it, twitch. You'll see this fish explode on the lure, whack, fish on. That's exactly what the big fish did except for I had the stock hooks and they just weren't up to the task. But I told you guys that we would fish it with the stock hooks just to see what happens, just so we can say, hey, they're no good. So, boom, check it off. They're no good, you need to switch them out. So, what do you switch them out to and what's a good solution? Now, we make our own, right? Jeff paints these for us now. We ship out our lures with these 4X BMCs, right? Uh, those are the black version, size six. This is, what is it, Oshaganessi or something crazy? I don't know how to pronounce it, all right. But they're 9626. This one is PS because they're silver. The black ones are BN because they're black nickel, I believe. 
I like them. They are sturdy. Here's an example of it. They hold up well. This one still has a bent hook, but that one is from last fall and it's caught a lot of fish and it's had multiple sets of hooks on it over time. They do a good job. Another thing you need to change out is the split rings, right? The split rings in this thing are just unbelievably tiny. There is no power there. If you do hook a fish good, the split rings are gonna be shot. If the hook survives, the split ring is not. They're definitely for fresh water. Uh, we actually sell the number three owner split rings. That's actually what we use on all of our stuff, right? So all of our swing jigs, um, all of our lures, we use the number three split rings. I believe they're rated for like 45 pounds, right? You're never going to break those things, okay? They're good to go, super quality in. We have a fantastic price on them because I buy them in bulk directly from owner. They come in packs of a thousand. Uh, so we have a really good price on them on the website. And I'll put links to all this stuff below, okay? The next thing you're going to need is just a quality pair of split ring pliers. The last thing you want to do is try to get them treble hooks on and off with a terrible pair. Uh, I believe I've done a video on that in the past, and if not, we can do one in the future. So we're out there, we're fishing. The next bad thing happens on day two, right? We're still using stock hooks. Jamie tosses out in front of a fish, whack, fish on. This is right after I pulled the hooks. This is probably a minute after I pulled the hooks on that fish. Now Jamie's fighting this fish. Next thing you know, it's right next to the kayak and Jamie's like, you know, you probably hear him in this video. He's right there. That's a good fish. He looks like a pretty good fish. Why is he not fighting? Uh, you know, the fish wasn't fighting. It was just kind of hanging out there. And if you look real close, Right now, you'll see his buddy, the fish just, his buddy runs oh, by him and spooks, spooks him. him. And Jamie's his fish just turns by. and oh, runs right into my kayak. It. Oh, you're fucked. Instant shit show. <laughs> all right, so we broke that one off. All right, so now we're 0 for 2 on a morning that started late and has already been chaotic. We actually ended up losing the second one. That was when he broke that off, the red and white one was gone. So our test was already instantly flawed. So we've made some changes for the future. Uh, we tied this one on for Jamie, which is the white one from last fall. So we still have two brand new ones that you guys will receive for the giveaway. And stay tuned to the end and I'll tell you what to comment. Finally, Jamie was able to pitch this out in front of a fish and connect. He caught a beautiful 34, 35 inch redfish. It had 50 spots. So here's a video of it. Um, it was textbook. We were out there on this flat, you know, you kind of get on the edge of the grass and sand and you kind of look for these fish, right? And the wind was finally perfect. Uh, water was a little stained, not too bad. And he was able to get that thing out there. Just a windblown flat and whack fish on. Did a great job. Beautiful fish. His personal best. Obviously his personal best spots as well. Gorgeous fish. Um, going into day three, we wanted to go fish a completely different body of water. So we went to a place that I'd actually never fished before. It was pretty frigid. Uh, wind was out of the west. We went out to Fort Walton, okay? And we saw some fish. We saw some absolute studs, but we just could not get them to eat, right? It was just a day of put the lure out in front of the fish and the fish just turned around. And we probably did that for two and a half, three hours. Probably pedaled close to six miles. And we're like, hey, look. Some days it doesn't work out, right? So we did not succeed at all on day three, which is kind of heartbreaking, but that's what happens when you leave fish to find fish. You know, we get to fish every day, so kind of get a little bored, so it's kind of nice to go out and go exploring. Day one, we chased trout, obviously we we're successful. Day two, we chased redfish, we were successful. Day three was kind of like, all right, let's go see what else we can do with this lure. We did not kill it, it happens, okay? So if you guys are still watching, to win the lure package, remember, there'll be two of them going out. Comment your favorite fish to target. I will put a comment below too and tell you my favorite fish to target and how to target it. Obviously, it's sight fish and redfish, all right? Um, and that's it, man. I appreciate you guys being part of this series. I told you in one of the last videos we are going to launch a new program where you guys could help us buy lures if you're interested. So if you go to our website, there'll be a link below. It'll be the first link to be called buy me a lure and you can either buy us one lure or you can sign up to pay us eight dollars a month which is just a subscription service it'll charge you automatically you can cancel at any time and that'll give us eight bucks a month so we can continue to purchase all these lures 
Obviously, the goal was to buy these lures and then give them back to all of you for watching. So if you can or are interested, we would greatly appreciate your support. It will help us continue to make content like this. That being said, make sure you guys get down to that comment section and drop suggestions. If you have a lure that you want us to take out and fish, let's do it. We are going to change it up a little bit, right? We have done lures that obviously I have fished a bunch in the past. So what I want to do going forward is we'll do an initial thoughts video and then we will move on and we will not try to do it in three days, right? So we've been just going fishing one, two, three, and then putting out the videos. I want to take a little bit more in-depth look, show you kind of like where we might fish it and how we would fish it, go in a little more details on how the lure performs and give you guys better answers. So when you hit the water with those lures, you can be confident and how you're gonna fish them. It will help you catch more fish. So I think we'll probably end up putting them out Monday and Friday, initial thoughts, final thoughts, and so on. That's it, long video, I rambled. Hope you're still watching. If you do have questions, let me know at nick at Have a great evening.